Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on optimal storage on tapes in greedy method. Optimal storage on tapes is one of the application of greedy method. In optimal storage on tapes, we have to take n number of programs each and every program have different lengths. Now we have to assign these n number of programs to either single tape or a multiple tapes in an optimal way to reduce the total retrieval time for accessing a single program among the n number of programs okay this is the problem definition of optimal storage on tapes in greedy method this problem can be solved by using greedy method greedy method is one of the algorithm design method this method is used for solving optimization problems Optimization problem may require either maximum result or a minimum result. Sometimes we may require the maximum result. Then this problem can be treated as maximization problem. Sometimes the problem may require minimum result. Then this problem can be treated as minimization problem. Okay, now we go for one of the application of greedy method, optimal storage on tapes. So in this problem, so there are uh, eight programs are given, that is n is equal to eight. These eight programs can be assigned to single tape and multiple tapes. So by using single tape, what is the total retrieval time? By using multiple tapes, what is the total retrieval time? We have to find out. Okay. Now, how to solve this problem in greedy method? First, total number of programs. Total number of programs. How many number of programs are there? 3, 6, 8. So that is n is equal to 8. Next. First, arranging the arranging the program lens arranging the program lens in increasing order in increasing order of length increasing order of length so among them first which is minimum that is 5 is the minimum next one Two files are there, so one file, another file. Next one is seven. Next one is eight. Next one is twelve. Next one is thirteen. Next one is eighteen. Next one is thirty-two. Okay. So these, after arranging the eight programs in increasing order of length, this is the order. Okay. Now here we are. We have to find out the total retrieval time by using single tape by using three tapes. First, we go for single tape. Single tape. Okay, so total retrieval time is equal to total retrieval time is equal to 
be equal to okay to access the first program so how to access the first program how much time we can take that is five units of time we can take next to access the second program first we have to access the first program plus then we have to access the second program okay next to access the third program okay first we have to access the first program then access the second program then access the third program next to access the fourth program first we have to access the first program then access the second program then access the third program then access the fourth program plus to access the fifth program first we have to access the first program then access the second program then access the third program then access the fourth program after that accessing the fifth program next to access the sixth program first we have to access the first program after that access the second program after that access the third program after that access the fourth program after that access the fifth program after that access the sixth program plus to access the seventh program first we have to access the first program then after access the second program then after access the third program then access then access the fourth program after that access the fifth program after that access the sixth program after that access the seventh program okay next to access the eighth program first we have to access the first program then after access the second program then after access the third program then after access the fourth program then after access the fifth program then after access the sixth program then after access the seventh program then after access the eighth program so that is equal to 5 plus 5 plus 5 10 plus 10 plus 7 17 plus 17 plus 8 25 plus 37 plus 50 plus 68 plus 100 68 100 so this value is 100 this value is 68 this value is 50 this value is 37 this value is 25 this value is 17 this value is 10 and this value is 5 okay so the total retrieval time is equal to 5 12 17 24 32 3 4 5 7 10 15 21 2 plus 1 that is 3. So 3 12 units of time. 3 12 units of time is the total retrieval time for accessing 8 programs. Okay. Next go for 3 tapes. Next go for 3 tapes. 3 tapes. So that are T0, T1 and T2. Okay. Now we are assigning these 8 programs to T0, T1 and T2 tapes. So T0, T1, T2. So first program can be assigned to T0 tape. Second program can be assigned to T1 tape. Third program can be assigned to T2 tape. Again, fourth program can be assigned to T0 tape. Fifth program can be assigned to T1 tape. Sixth program can be assigned to T2 tape. Seventh program can be assigned to T0 tape. And eighth program can be assigned to T1 tape. 
Now, find after assigning these eight programs to three tapes T0, T1, and T2. Now, find out the total retrieval time. So, total retrieval time for T0 tape is equal to to access the first program in T0 tape, we can require 5 units of time. To access the second program in T0 tape, first we have to access the first program, then after we have to access the second program. Next, to access the third program in T0 tape, first we have to access the first program, then after access the second program then after accessing the third program okay so that is equal to 5 5 plus 8 13 13 plus 18 31 that is equal to 31 plus 13 44 44 plus 5 that is 49 next total Retrieval time for T1 tape. So that is equal to to access the first program, how much time we require? 5 units of time required. To access the second program in T1 tape, first we have to access the first program, then after accessing the second program next to access the third program in t1 tape first we have to access the first program then after access the second program then after access the third program okay so this is the for accessing the first program in t1 tape this five units of time is required to access the second program in t1 tape this is the time required to access the third program in T1 tape, this is the time required. The total time is 5 plus 5 plus 12, 17, 17 plus 32, that is 49. So that is equal to 49 plus 17, 66, 66 plus 5, that is 71. Next, total retrieval time. Total retrieval time for T2 tape is equal to to access the first program in T2 tape, we can require 7 units of time. To access the second program in T2 tape, first we have to access the first program, then after that we have to access the second program. So that is equal to 7 plus 20 that is equal to 27 okay so therefore final total retrieval time for three days It is T0, T1 and T2 is equal to total retrieval time, total retrieval time for T0 tape plus total retrieval time. for T1 tape plus total retrieval time for T2 tape. So that is equal to total retrieval time for T0 tape is 49, total retrieval time for T1 tape is 71. Total retrieval time for T2 tape is 27. So that is equal to 
Thank you.